Ari, I wanted to do a review of an issue of Aquaman because they done did a film, but I didn't have any issues of Aquaman. So here is an issue of Captain Atomant where he fights Black Mantis. And it says down the side, it says the Janus Directions. The Janus Directions was a big crossover with a bunch of other books like Suicide Squads and The Fury of Fire Lord and The Punisher and Bingo Handjob and Man Eater. But this one, this issue, it has now to do with it. I didn't know why they put it on the cover. What happened in that crossover was Janice from Friends, she showed up and they all had to give her directions. Directions of how to get to New York, because she was going on a date with Matthew Perry's character, Joey Friend. Hence the title, The Janice Directions. This issue starts with Captain Atomant and Nighty Sides, and they are holding hands. They are like old lovers, and if you think this is nice, if you think this is romantic, then turn the page, you idiot, because Nighty Sides is breaking up with him. She is fed up with spies and political intrigue and the whole genre, so she has decided to just get rid of anything in her life that reminds her of that sort of thing. And Captain Atomant, he's like in a government program. He's an agent for the government. So he's like he's like a spy embroiled boy. So she's like, see you later, boy. She needs to come back down to earth, if you ask me. She's cold, isn't she? But I will say I have had worse than this happen to me. Like, I got dumped by an unprovoked block on Facebook. And you're probably thinking, it must have been for something. Maybe you said something. Maybe you said that you think improv is shit. And you found a video of her doing improv and it was the most uncomfortable you have ever felt in your life. But I didn't say that. I didn't say it out. I will say, she mustn't be very good at improv because she couldn't even improvise up a reason to dump us. I mean, I could come up with loads of reasons to dump us. I'm not bragging her out, but I can. So meanwhile, this is Captain Atomant's daughter. And she is reading the top secret file all about the government conspiracies and the origins of Captain Atomant. And it does a good job of filling her in on a setup for the series. He was wrongfully accused of treason and sentenced to death. But then he volunteered for an experiment, and in that he seemed to die. But then he showed up ten years later with his powers, and the government decided to lie, because the government always lie. And they made up a fictional backstory about him being an old classic superhero, and they made up like villains for him to have allegedly fought in the past and stuff. It was good, it was a fun setup. And there's that woman off of the Suicide Squads, and she looks angry, doesn't she? And Captain Ataman's family, they are going out for a sail on a sailing boat. Meanwhile, Captain Ataman is at the Justice League headquarters. This is when he was a member of that. In fact, he was leading the Justice League Europe team. And there's Mr. Fantasticals. And Mr. Fantasticals, he says that there has been reports of Black Mantis treasure hunting around the Florida Keys, that's in America. And Captain Ataman, he is worried because that's where his family are. But Mr. Fantasticals, he reassures him. He says it'll be fine and that it's not that bad because Black Mantis only killed Aquaman's baby son. So Captain Ataman, he rushes off to save the day. He arrives and his daughter is surrounded by sharks. And he saves her, but she's all, like, angry at him because she has read his file and doesn't like him anymore. So she's, like, put me down. So he puts her down. And then we have got loads of family drama, some character stuff. And Captain Ataman and his son, Captain Ataman Jr., probably, they go for a swim looking for Black Mantis. And then they both get captured by robotic tendril things. And Black Mantis, he has got them. 
and he's got like an arena and he has got this weird alien monster robot thing and he wants to test it out because he says I plan on presenting it to Aquaman on the anniversary of his son's death. What a nasty fella. He's already killed Aquaman's baby son. Now he wants to send this thing here after him on the anniversary. Baby killing isn't something to be proud of, mate. Like, in my opinion, killing a baby is like the worst of all the murders. Firstly, it is horrible. Secondly, it is disgusting and sick. And thirdly, it is fucking easy. Watch them die. This should be good. He's a right creep bag, this Black Mantis. So Captain Ataman, he turns his powers on and straight away trounces a thing that he is fighting. And he's mad because he's on holiday, but crime doesn't take a vacation. That is what they say. And Black Mantis, the minute the tide turns, that is a pun probably, he tries to run away. So baby killer and a coward. Captain Adamant, he chases him and he pulls his mask off and that apparently defeats him. And that's as much as the end. I will say the fight with Black Mantis is very underwhelming. Especially when you see this cover and you think there's going to be an actual fight between them. But it's not. In fact, he's, he's barely in it really. This seems like a really short comic. It's not, it's the same length as other comics, but somehow it's... It just feels like 10 pages. I do like it. I like this series. But the cover, for me, it really reinforces how underwhelming this fight is. I mean, Black Mantis didn't even throw a punch. And all Captain Adamant did was take his helmet off. I want to see Black Mantis shoot his eye beams at him like, on this cover. So I'm only rating this one seven thumbs up.